topic 3.1. These two points here, we're going to find the slope. So the slope formula uses y2 minus y1 and x2 minus x1. These are my y's here. This means we're going to keep this y the same, but this y we're going to change. So we're going to keep and change. Keeping the, the positive 4 thirds but changing the negative 3 to a positive 3. For the x's, we're going to keep and change. Keep this a negative 2 and change this to a negative 1 half. Now what we have is a complex rational. So looking at all the denominators, 3, 1, 1, and 2, the common denominator will be 6. So I'm going to multiply by the least common, which is 6. When I distribute my 6, 6 divided by 3 is 2, times 4 is 8. 6 times 3 is 18. 6 times negative 2 is negative 12. 6 divided by 2 is 3, times negative 1 is negative 3. Now we can add these, the 8 and the 18, we get 26. And the negative 12 and the negative 3, we get negative 15. And there are no common factors that we can take out of these two. No, I don't see any common factors. So we can say the slope is negative 26 over 15. I bring the negative from here to the outside. Next, I want to graph the special equation y equals negative 3. y equals negative 3 is going to be a horizontal line. This is one of our specials. When there's simply a y there, no x's, this is going to be horizontal. Now the way we create our points is by making all the y spaces negative 3. Then for the x's we can use choose any numbers. So I'll choose let's say 4, 0, and negative 3. Again, the y's must be negative 3 but the x's can be anything because the x's are missing here. So we can use any real number. So 4, negative 3 1, 2, 3, 4, and negative 3 would be here. That's our first point. 0, negative 3 would be here. And negative 3, 3 would be about here. And it does indeed make a horizontal line. So you have your three points. They're basically labeled and your, line, and your graph. Next, x equals negative 3 is also a special graph. That is a, um, those are going to be vertical lines. And now to create three points from, for that vertical line, since x is negative 3, we're going to make all the x numbers negative 3. There's no y here, and therefore we can use any real number for our y's. So let's use 5, 1, and negative 2. You can make up any three numbers you want. So negative 3, 1, 2, 3, and 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is our point here for negative 3, 5. Then negative 3, 1 will be about here. And negative 3, 2 will be there. And it does form a vertical line. OK, for these two points, they form a line. Any two points form a line. But we want to find the equation of the line that does flow through these two points. So to find those lines, the equations of those lines, we need the point slope formula. Okay. And we need three numbers. We need a slope and the x and a y. Once we'll put those three in there, we'll get the equation of the line. Now, let's go for the slope first. Slope will be, we'll keep the negative 3, change this to negative 11 over 3. Keep this as 6, change this to a negative 1. Okay, since we have a complex fraction here, we're going to look for the LCD, which is going to be 3. And we'll multiply by the numerator and the denominator. So what we get is 3, uh, 3 times negative 3, which is negative 9. 3 divided by 3 is 1 times negative 11 is negative 11. 3 times 6 is 18. And 3 times 1 is 3, negative 3. Should I say 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. Right. The negative 9 and the negative 11 become negative 20. 
and the 18 and negative 3 become 15. That simplifies to, see, we can reduce this both by 5, so this will be negative 4 thirds. Alright, so now we can fill in three values here, here, and there. So the opposite of y, which would be positive 3, this is y, positive 3, the slope is negative 4 thirds, and the opposite of x will be 6, negative 6, should I say. Opposite of positive 6 will be negative 6. Now I'm going to distribute by negative 4 thirds, and we'll get y plus 3 equals negative 4 thirds x, positive. 6 divided by 3 is 2, times 4 is 8. And then I'm going to subtract my 3 from both sides. And this gives me y equals negative 4 thirds x plus 5. And that's the linear equation that goes through these two points. Okay, let's find the linear equation that goes through those two points. And to find linear equations, we need y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. Now, we need to find the um, slope, and then the x and the y, we'll put those in. So, slope first. Slope will be made from um, this y right here, so this will stay the same. We'll keep the negative 5 halves and change the positive 1 to negative 1. We'll, we'll keep this as 1 half and change this to a negative 5 thirds. Okay, now we have denominators of 2, 1, 2, and 3. The least common denominator will be 6. Well, the least common multiple will be 6. So everything gets multiplied by 6. And my slope will be now 6 divided by 2 is 3 times negative 5. It's negative 15. 6 times negative 1 is negative 6. 6 divided by 2 is 3 times 1 is 3. 6 divided by 3 is 2 times negative 5 is negative 10. So we get negative 21 all over negative 7. This simplifies to a 3. So we have a slope of 3. Now, the opposite of y, let's see, let's use this right here. There's the y. And let me use this one down here. The opposite of y here will be negative 1. The slope is 3. And the opposite of x is this guy right here, which will be negative 5 thirds. Distributing my 3, I get 3x and I get negative 5. And then I'm going to add 1 to both sides. And we get y equals 3x, let's see, minus 4. And this is the linear equation that goes through these two points right here.